How you all doing then folks? Back to this fucking job. Sent Jody off with a single rotor rake. Just turn straw. So I can come back to this. Um I've already tried beating the fuck out the end of the hammer. But I think I might have to put the bearing puller on it. Actually I've got to take all this off as well. So let's do all that. Well we're never gonna get any work done at this rate, are we? Right then, we're finally back at some proper work after faffing with potatoes. Uh, also went mowing last night. Moved the combine. So we'll be ready for the day, but I want to fix this as we've got some silage to bell later. And this has been waiting to be done for ages. Um, basically what happened is one of the springs snapped. Well, it's just not, everything's been snapped. One spring snapped last year. No, hang on. No, these are both, this one's new now. This one was new a few months ago. This bracket's new because the last one snapped off. Hopefully everything all being new again. Um, yeah, but it's all in different orders. This is the only new piece now. This was new a month ago and this was new a month or two ago. Oh well, and I really can't be asked to do this. So let's do this the easy way. Easy peasy, uh, next thing to fix. understand how the fuck that worked but it seems to have worked oh my god oh, come on really really oh there we go with a new one. Hmm. Oh fuck, I've run out of clicks. This is just turning into one of those jobs that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We even had to crack the fucking gas out. But again, I'm getting dragged away from this, but at least it's not for fucking potatoes this time. Okie dokies, a few hours that fucking done. I was gonna film a bit more of it, but um, I couldn't keep up. Fucking grimpers too quick, but um, that's everything done now, everything we're combining now is dry enough, probably 14%. This is the wetter stuff, crimp it, put some pellets with it, that's why I can keep up. By the time I went up to the shed, scooped up a bucket full, chucked a bag of bloody uh, pellets in. Um, some of them were a bit hard, but from last year we didn't get around to using them then, so they've been stored. The ones at the bottom of the pallet are rock fucking hard. Um, so you got to break up all the bloody lumps of wisdom feed through. But that's that. We'll probably have five now. Just got to go drop the crimper off here. Grab the pressure washer. If I can wash this off a little bit. So Jody can take it raking. Then I'll finish pushing that up. Put the baler on and get baling. We've got two fields of haylage to do bail. So we'll uh, see you when we get to that. Oh fuck it. Let's do a click. See if it works. Apparently clicking your fingers doesn't work for fucking alternators. This piece back here, I just ran it over and this piece is getting caught on the brackets. But I can get that piece off the other alternator, I've just got to do that. I checked that earlier, I ran it over and I heard it smelt burning. And uh, it was the belt. Oh, finally fucking going. Um, yeah, put that other fanny thing on. I think it's a fan. I'm guessing it blows air around it. Can't see what else it does. Um, yeah, the you know, old one, fucking perfect. It's only a whole mil smaller, if that. Fuck all. But just enough to clear. 
So we're good to go now, even though the battery's flat, when I run the PDO it works, so... I know, everyone with bailing, it'll just charge the battery up nicely. Oh, fucking Jesus, I was going to bring the drone, but it's going to be dark by the time we fucking get anything done, I think, so... Fuck it! Anyway, um, yeah, see when we get there. Oh, I was going to do a clicky thing earlier, but I fucking forgot it. Bollocks. Oh, you know, fuck me sideways. That's a bell. Fucking Jesus. I can't fucking help. I can't pull the strings. I think the pressure's a bit high. <laughs> fucking hell. It's not as just giving up the load. Probably the pressure's too high. Drop it down. This fuck is up tight. <laughs> fucking brick. Oh well. You'll do. Let's chop this one up. <laughs> a bit on the short side. I could have rolled away. Fucking this thing's tight. Dude. Don't use this baler in a while. Oh dear. see a thing in there. I've already gone to night vision mode. Yeah, that's better. Oh, I haven't brought enough string. I didn't think there was going to be much here. It's going on well with it now. Uh, there going to be that many bells to be honest. About 60 I spent. Um, it just looks like a lot where it's very uh, dry. This is second cut. I know we're quite late in the year, but when we done our second cut, we sort of missed it out. Because we had a horsey lady that wanted to buy some hayley, dry grass hayley bells. So we left this field aside for her and we haven't really got to do it. So we've been meaning for the past few weeks. It's been wet. But we're here now. First, I think it'll take long to finish. Fucking headlands are rough though. Um, yeah, Judy's just heading on to the other field. That's a little ways away. But um, hopefully she'll be there and doing the headland by the time I get there anyway. So I'm absolutely moving on. Um, I reckon this field might have almost receded itself, to be honest. We've had a lot of wind and a lot of rain. And I reckon it's probably gone to seed and beat all the seeds out, to be honest. Because normally it looks brown as fuck when we come to cut this. But... It's very, very green down there. I reckon she's reseeded herself. Beaten out with the wind and growing like fuck with the rain and... Oh, all the grass is green about now. It just doesn't seem to be fuck all of it. It's just green, just changed colour. It went from being brown and yellow to green. It just doesn't grow. Oh well. Fucking... Let's get on. Well, that'll do for tonight. Let's put this back in the shed and back off.